Great. So let's um, let's let's talk about the future, and yep. um, you know where where Kudo are going. At the moment, we're focused on a, a number of things, but really, it's building the ecosystem. Um, so we're working with global um, network consumers that are AI, video injury and AI compute consumers, and they're both blockchain projects and traditional cloud consumers. Um, and then on the supply side, we're working with kind of data center providers, um, backbone service providers, uh, and we're working on validators. So this gives us kind of the, you know, the supply and the demand networks, um, and that gives us scalability. And then, um, so these uh, kind of give us solid 24 seven infrastructure. And then on the consumer devices, then we're working with projects like AMD and Ultra, which are all going live over the next few months. Um, and that kind of gives us the whole amount of hardware that can run our networks. Okay, so the, so the focus is, uh, from what I understand, is very much been on the supply side up to now to secure that distribution base. Yes, yep, yep, so it's, and that's what we've, we've seen with you know some other projects is, if you don't have that supply in place, you can't build a scalable solution. Also, it's prone to attack, you know, it, it's a risk, you're, you're centralized, so actually you need to get scale on kind of a global network first, and then you can put the applications on top of it. So that's the order that we've been working on. And then we have the token coming up, obviously very shortly. Um, so that enables anyone kind of natively in the blockchain or crypto space to be able to consume resources, uh, either as a compute oracle um, for other blockchains, or actually as kind of, and that's kind of as a layer two network or as a layer three network to consume compute resources for AI video rendering, so you, from a smart contract, you can kick off the work from there um, and then run it across the network. So kind of that gives us all of the sides of supply and all of the yeah. sides of demand. Okay, so the Kudos uh, token that's coming out um, in the next few months, you know, as we, as we lead up to that, um, how, how does that, how does that uh, impact the next six months? What does the next six months look like in terms of, uh, you know, kind of platform development? Yeah, so we're really busy building <laughs> and we've been recruited uh, so bring on some you know, additional really good people into the team, which is obviously a great team at the moment anyway. Um, so we've got things like uh, the test net will be coming up in the next six months for people to actually build directly onto for compute Oracle services. Mm -hmm. We're partnering with other data feed providers and service providers so that you can consume all sorts of uh, data like um, you know DeFi price data, weather data analytics, um, any types of data you want to connect to and, to, and we're also working with payment providers so you can all of a sudden be able to receive and transact and escrow kind of payment services easily off, off your smart contracts. Um, we're working with the AMD team on uh, SEV, so that's a secure enclave environment, mm -hmm. um, which enables us to you know securely take these uh, workloads and tasks um, which currently sit on the blockchain and prove that the work is done on you know a validator node and prove it hasn't been tampered with uh, as well as other you know crypto cryptography and other um, you know kind of protection mechanisms that you put on top of that which really gives us a solid secure validator network that supports it um, and then we've got buying and selling of compute which is coming out. So that is anyone across the network can buy and sell compute. So all of those services enable us to support either traditional compute um, or they enable us to support, uh, you know, compute Oracle services for multiple blockchains. So it's, yeah, we're, so, so we're busy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it sounds like it's, uh, it's very busy. And uh, that's brought me on to my next point. So it sounds like there's some fairly major <coughs> milestones in there. Um, yeah. But from, um, <clears throat> you know, from a, from a focus point of view, this is, this is all, one platform, right? So, so really, yeah. these are kind of you know you've mentioned four or five different um, development milestones there. So they're kind of four or five new features that are going to go on to an existing platform. Yes. Yeah. So we've been building this platform for three years, yeah. um, and we're really extending what we can do with that platform and that network. Yeah. So, and we've been creating these relationships and partnerships for the three years as well. So it's kind of the yeah the next level of you know the relevancy to blockchain really. Okay, well, let, let's, let's, let's go further. Let's, yeah. let's, let's go into the future and uh, get all Marty McFly for our audience here. So, <laughs> so what's, um, let's have a look at the long view. What, what, what do you envisage within the next kind of three to five years? 
Yeah, uh, not flying cars, okay. so we're not going to be there. <laughs> um, I thought you were a futurist back then. <laughs> yeah, five years is a bit of a... Well, you actually, you can get them now. But <laughs> um, You know, what we're focused on is, for one, it's having anybody that is able to buy and sell compute, you know, in the same way that, you know, the typical scenario of Airbnb, of, of cloud computing, that anyone who has a compute resource can actually monetize that. So that we want as many people around the world to be able to do that and it to be a global network. And with that network, then we can bridge the gap between blockchain and traditional internet. Because mm -hmm. at the moment, there is quite a gap and um, there's a limited number of ways that you can bridge between the two. So that's what we're really working towards is to bring blockchain to the mass market um, but also bring distributed compute to the mass market. Um, and we are um, on that side working with the data providers so that we make data available to anybody and everybody. You know, rather than just a limited number of um, providers that can do it, it means you know, using our network, anyone can become a data oracle mm -hmm. um, and put those services available. So it makes it a much more competitive space, yeah. but it also means a lot more people can come into it and bridge those gaps. So it's not just us doing it. We're, do we're building the technology layer underneath yeah. and we're letting others actually bridge the data gaps between them. So Kudo is a, is a compute oracle and then the likes of uh, DIA data, Chainlink and some of these other <coughs> data oracles. So data, yeah. compute, natural hand in hand, good fit. Yep. Yeah, exactly that. And enabling, you know, validators to earn off that, data center providers to earn off that, and also, you know, just anything down to a, anyone with a, a mobile device. Um, what we're also working with, you know, what we started out with was on the charity side, so that we want people to be able to donate these resources to charity. Um, the funds that are generated from those devices, you know, we, we want that to be donatable. Um, either keep all of the funds for yourself or donate a percentage or donate all of it to charity. So we really, really want to realise that um, and reach our kind of over the next three to five years, reach our goal of kind of that billion dollars of worth of charity resource. And the other thing that we're working towards is, and this is why kind of our background um, and our previous company, we were, you know, we'd, we ran our own data centres, but they would be CO2, carbon neutral mm -hmm. data centres. Um, we're bringing out so that you can make your devices carbon neutral. So we kind of offset any of the negative okay. effects. So as well as saving CO2 by using hardware that's already there, using networks that are already there, rather than keep having to build them, um, we can actually, if you're in a, you know, a, a carbon consuming electricity grid, then you can make those carbon neutral as well. Wow, fantastic. So powering the internet, empowering good causes around the world, charities, for instance, uh, and driving sustainability. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So it's, okay. it's basically a much more expanded version of what we built in our, our last company, just using more modern technologies. Excellent, okay. Um, well, I think in our next video, we should really talk about the team. Um, I'm sure everyone would like to hear about the skill set, uh, the experience, yeah. and, and go a little bit more into that side. Okay, great.